These are the ruins of Plato's Academy and Gymnasium in Western Athens. Plato's school was named Academia, after Academus, a hero of Athens who was believed to have been a previous owner of the land. And it is from this space that we get the words Academy, Academics, and Academia. Plato was a wrestler, and Plato was actually his wrestling name. His birth name was Aristocles. Plato probably lectured somewhat informally here, where young men trained to wrestle. While it would be a great place for an impromptu bit of grappling, there weren't any other grapplers around, so I just knocked out some push-ups in tribute to the space. One of the things that this trip to Greece really impressed on me was how the ancient Greeks considered athletics a tribute to the gods. This is something we've been talking about in the Order of Fire. If our gods are our highest versions of ourselves, then the best sacrifice or tribute we can give them is our effort and excellence. I also like the connection here between grappling and athletics and philosophy. I find that men often end up talking about philosophical things between and after rounds of jiu-jitsu at open mats, so there's some continuity there. As you can see here, today the ruins of Plato's Academy are in a dog park, in a neighborhood that can be described as colorful and rugged. Aristotle studied for years at Plato's Academy, but eventually he founded his own school, the Lyceum, near a temple to Apollo Lyceus, meaning Apollo of the Light, an aspect of the god sometimes also associated with wolves. Aristotle's Lyceum is better maintained, and you have to pay to visit it. The layout of the gymnasium here is much clearer, and I did some push-ups in the palestra, or fighting area. The sign here indicated that the young men beat each other up until one of them raised his hand or got knocked unconscious, which is pretty savage. An old woman who worked at the site actually yelled at me for filming myself doing push-ups here, which is kind of ridiculous given what the space was originally designed for. It's also rather strange that they are so reverent about Aristotle's gym, but they let dog shit on Plato's gym. 